Hey. Hi. Hey guys, welcome back to day two of our World Atlas project. Karosh has prepared his presentation and is going to teach us about Japan. Mondana got busy with some other work, so she couldn't join us yeah, today. She's away so. from the government right now, so. She what? She's trying to get away from the government, so she can't be seen on camera. Well, that's intel I didn't know. But she will be back with us next week, so we'll miss her today. Yeah, so before your presentation, Karosh, which I know you've put a lot of time and effort into, I wanted to remind you a few things. I want you to be really confident because this is information and this is content that you know, right? You know your stuff. Yeah. All right, you worked really hard on this. So I also want you to remember, try to be articulate. This one takes practice. So each time you go to present something, you'll get better at it. Exactly, and the last thing to remember is to always have fun, right? We're really excited to hear what you learned about Japan. Okay. Take it away, my friend. Okay, let me screen share this with you guys. Here we go. Ooh, sushi. Very nice. Okay, so my, uh, my thing was about Japan. I chose Japan because I like a lot of things about Japan. For one, sushi or like a, a Nintendo anime, a bunch of stuff. Um, so this is just the front side. So here's some fun facts about Japan. The leader of Japan is Shino, uh, Shinzo Abe. The capital of Japan is Tokyo. The language is Japanese. The size of Japan, the country, is 377,000 kilometers squared. The population of Japan is 126 million people, which is actually the 10th largest population. The currency they use in Japan is called yen. Uh, the climate in Japan is pretty cold. And some of the products that they produce is automobiles and consumer electronics like Nintendo produces consumer electronics. So here's a map of Japan. It's not the most high quality, like you can't fully read this, but over here you can see uh, there's an arrow pointing to Japan, which I'm circling with my mouse. Here's a close up image of Japan. And here's the capital that I mentioned, Tokyo. And these are just some other cities that, I, uh, that have been labeled. This is the flag of Japan right up here the white rectangle with a red dot, and the white stands for honesty and purity. Now, the red dot stands for Amaterasu, which means the sun god. So this stands, so the red dot stands for the sun god of Japan. So some of the history of Japan is, in 1904, they had a war against Russia. The war developed from Russia's and Japan's rivalry for dominance in Korea and Manchur, Manchuria? Is that how it's pronounced? Yep, that's how it's pronounced, and that's part of China. Okay, and then in 1931, there's the invasion of China. The invasion of China led to the Second uh, Sino-Japanese War, in 19, uh, and that led from 1937 to uh, 1945, because China began resisting Japanese expansion. Um, in 1941, there was a Pearl Harbor, the Pearl Harbor attack was a surprise, a uh, preemptive military strike by the Imperial Japanese Navy Air. And then in 1952 was when J uh, Japan got their restored independence. After the defeat of Japan in World War II, the United States led the Allies in the occupation, to, uh, occupation and rehabilitation of Japanese state, April um, of the Japanese state. And on April 28, 1952, was when the San Francisco Peace Treaty took effect, marking the official end of World War II and the Allied occupation of Japan. Any questions? I'm just joking. <laughs> so far, so good. <laughs> so now for the VIP that I picked, I picked Gyro Ono from Gyro Dreams of Sushi. He owns uh, like the best sushi restaurant in the world. <laughs> I picked him as the VIP, which means very important person. So some of the holidays they have in Japan, it, like here are just two examples that I wrote, but here's a list of them. But these dates are wrong. This is uh, not, the, the dates change every year, but 
this was like, I think last year or the year before dates, but here are two of the holidays that I listed. The Senjin no Hai, or coming of age day, which is on the second Monday of January, which mean which honors like the coming of age day for adults like when they turn 20 so everyone who turned 20 in the past year before like since the last coming of age day this is celebrating them marine day or otherwise known as sea day or ocean day is on the third monday in july which it was right here and the purpose of this holiday is to give thanks to the ocean's bounty and consider the importance of the ocean to japan as an island nation like, if Japan didn't have an ocean, there wouldn't be sushi. <laughs> that would be torture. Terrible. The instrument that I chose from Japan is the shamisen. Now, we're going to watch someone play the shamisen for a little bit. It's just one minute long, and then we'll get back to the video. Yeah, I know. I have a lot of tabs. Same. So there was just a little presentation of that instrument from Japan. So if I just exit out of this and then reopen it to make it full screen. Next we have the, if I turn back on my pointer, a sport that I chose from Japan. And <laughs> I chose sumo wrestling. And as you see right here, this is a famous sumo wrestler from Japan. Um, I forget his name, though, and this is a kid trying to defeat him. Uh, <laughs> sumo, wrestling, uh, sumo wrestling is actually Japan's national sport, and it originated in ancient times as a performance to entertain the Shinto deities. Shin Shinto, yeah, I pronounced that right, right? <laughs> um, a food that I chose is sushi. Uh, it might surprise most of you, but... I like sushi, you know? I think it's, it tastes good. Yeah. I really wish I could have some sushi right now. Yeah, this is making my mouth water. And I didn't have breakfast. Yeah. So next is animals. So for the three animals I chose, I chose the stellar sea lion, and they have to be native to Japan. I chose the Japanese pond turtle, which is this one, and the sika deer, which is this one right here. I think the stellar sea lion looks kind of funny. Next, clothing. Now, if you saw it in the video for the instrument, which is this one, the lady was wearing one of these, which is called a kimono. And the word kimono literally means clothing. And up until the 19th century, it was the form of dress worn by everyone in Japan. So now I listed some places to visit, uh, which first I chose the Fushimi Inara Shrine. Fushimi Inara is the most important of several thousands of shrines dedicated to Inara, the Shinto god of rice. And actually, in an anime I watched, there's a character whose last name is Inara. In Inari. Hmm. <laughs> Naruto. <laughs> Naruto, there's a character like that. The Toshogu Shrine. The Toshogu Shrine is the final resting place of To... Tokugawa Leiasu, the founder of the Toshugawa Shogunate uh, that ruled Japan for, I'm guessing that says over 250 years until 1868. And then finally, we have the Okunoin, Okunoin Cemetery. 
It's the largest cemetery in all of Japan with over 200,000 tombstones. Wow. And finally, we have the, uh, I'm going to switch to that slide, but finally we have the, uh, what's it called? Thing you picked as your like just personal thing from Japan. And once again, I'm listing the gyro restaurant. So this guy, gyro, he has this restaurant. It has 10 seats and it's in a subway in Japan, but he, he somehow makes the sushi taste so good to where the waiting list is a year long. And he has a movie about this, uh, and he has a movie about his restaurant, which it was on the other side that I showed you, which is just insane. So yeah, that is my presentation on, uh, what's it called, Japan and the That's country awesome. I chose. That was really good. I especially loved the part about the flag. I think it's really cool to okay. know the meanings I behind open it back up. what countries choose to be their symbols. Um, and every flag has its own story that links into the history of that country. So it's really cool to um, get to see that for Japan. Mandy, do you have any questions for Karosh? Um, yeah, first to comment, I think you did a really nice job um, presenting that information to us. I also really liked the flag. It's really interesting. I had no idea that that was um, the circle represented the god, right? Or the sun yeah, also, god. In the same anime that I was mentioning, yeah. the sun god is the bad guy that they face at the end of Naruto. Nice. Knew that it was also in the middle of the Japanese flag. <laughs> I guess my second question, or that I guess the first thing was a comment, but my second question is, I wanted to know if you were to visit Japan, I know that you mentioned there were three really cool places to go, as well as then Gyro's restaurant. Where would be your top place to visit? Gyro's restaurant. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Um, but the, that you'd have to plan like a year in advance. You better get your name no, in there. Maybe, Maybe a year later, there will be some pandemic that makes everyone do Zoom calls instead of going places. Yeah. And you'll miss your know. opportunity to go to Chairo's Sushi Place. Yep. Better get your name in now, yeah. I guess, huh? And, and yeah. It's a family business. So, like, he taught his sons how to make this, like, secret sushi. And, like, they're going to teach their kids. Actually, I think uh, his kids already have kids. He's, like, a grandparent. But That's so cool. <laughs> Uh, I love this. So another place that I would probably visit is like there, there's a place literally called like Anime Town or Anime Place. Mm. It, like, this, the place is literally called Anime, and like it's just filled with a bunch of things anime related. I'd want to go to that place. Just is to that the thing you have. showed me uh, yesterday that looked almost like New York City, but it was all colorful and all anime, right? Yeah, I could I could pull that up maybe. Yeah, and then Kurosh, while you're pulling that up, I remember you telling me once too that there's a place that's kind of like Naruto related. It's a like a ramen place, Naruto, right? Isn't that in Florida? Oh yeah, but that's in Florida. I think. Yeah. <laughs> if I wait, give me one sec. It's I thought the shrines were talking about really yeah. cool though because yeah. that one looked like it had a pathway down it underneath some sort of like structure so i wonder how long and how big that pathway is and if that's in and of itself the shrine or if there's an actual like shrine somewhere as well yeah wow what that is so cool only that's a little crazy. bit colorful yeah just a little anime stuff i mean, like <laughs> i just i would want to go to one of these places yeah know, that'd be so cool normal person's eyes this just looks filled with too much color but to a trained professional like me you you see the beauty <laughs> and i'm just <laughs> It is beautiful. All right. Well, that's it for us today. Now it is your turn. We will link again all of the materials below, and we will also link Karosha's example presentation because it was really good. So good luck, have fun, and we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.